Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your Amazon Fire device working with most universal remote controls. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So as you can see here, I'm able to uh, control my Fire device with my universal remote control. I'm just using this one for all remote control right here and it's working fine. I've also tried the factory Sony remote control and have had no issues with that. This should work with pretty much any remote control that you want to connect to the TV, including the factory TV remote control, if that's all you want to use. Now, the way that this works is through a uh, technology called HDMI CEC. If you notice, when you're setting up your universal remote control, the Amazon Fire Stick usually doesn't have a code there and this is the workaround for that. And I've been using this for quite some time now and it does seem to work very well. Uh, there are a couple of things that I want, to no uh, I want you to notice first before I get into it, is uh, the USB port that's on the back of your TV. I would not use that for power. I've tried it on two different TVs and that does not work. Um, you're gonna wanna use a, a wall outlet and the USB dongle that comes with your uh, fire device and that's the best way to uh, connect that up. Another thing is, is the uh, CEC um, connect, you know, the connection that makes this work uh, failed on me one time and nothing would work. I was able to use the um, Amazon remote. That was working fine, but the TV remote was not working. Uh, so the way that I fixed that was, is I just unplugged everything, the TV and the fire device and uh, replugged back every, replugged everything back in and that solved the issue. Um, another thing is, is each manufacturer does call the CEC uh, technology something different in their own menu. So I'll post something about this in the description to the most popular TV brand so that you'll know what you're looking for. All right, so real quick, um, I wanna show a couple of things here. The input I'm using is HDMI 2. Now, uh, don't confuse CEC with ARC. It's not the same thing. The ARC has to do with returning audio to your TV from your uh, soundbar or your audio device. It has nothing to do with the uh, CEC, so uh, keep that in mind. And also, here's the, uh, the way that you get to this. You have to enable this before this is going to work. Go to settings. Now this is a Sony TV. I'm gonna show you a Samsung TV here in a minute just uh, so you have something different to compare it to. All right, I'm gonna to go to setup. And I think the, uh, there it is. Bravia Sync settings is what Sony calls it. So Bravia Sync control has to be turned on Let's just see the sync device list and the Fire Stick should show up. There it is under Player 2, HDMI 2, Fire Stick. All right, so it's as simple as that. It should work for you. And that will get you back on one remote so that you don't have to use a secondary remote to control your Fire Stick. All right, let's switch over to the Samsung real quick and see what we got there. Well, we've switched over to the Samsung TV and just like before, let's go to the menu. Still the same thing, settings. The little gear icon is pretty uh, universal. And then, as you can see here, they call it something different, but they actually do tell you that that's what it is. This and yet plus, and then in parentheses there, HDMI CEC. So uh, very easy to deal with. And uh, of course, there it is. Uh, the and yet plus control is on, enabled. The auto turn off, I think, can either be on or off. I don't think that matters on that. But that's how you enable that on a Samsung. But let me show you something that is a little bit different here. Oh, let's see, wait a minute here. Okay. Uh, the input is a little bit different than the Sony. Um, oh, by the way, you can, I've tried this on all, there's like four inputs on this TV and I've tried it on any one of them and it doesn't seem to make any difference. It works on all of them. But currently, I have the unit plugged into HDMI number four, okay? So when we go there, as you can see, 
Well, you can't see. I'm pushing the buttons on the remote and nothing's happening. So what we have here is you have to go to the HDMI CEC where it says Fire TV right there. And it says connecting to Anyet Plus. Now it works. So keep that in mind if you have a Samsung TV that it might, uh, it might say something like that. And some other different TVs might say something like that as well. All right, so I hope this video has been helpful. If you enjoyed it, click on that thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.